Hello one and all, Stu Passmore here. Today I'm going to be talking about the alternative research community, aka the freedom movement, and a handful of other things. Let's just take a moment, look around, and appreciate the things that we do have because our forefathers would be very, very jealous if they had the communications and research tools that we have available to us today. A lot of people are putting them to great use. There's tons of stuff online. I'm not sure why this tool gets so much slander, like, you learned this off the internet? Yes, I used the greatest research tool available in the history of mankind for some of my research, so don't get on me about that. But our forefathers had a much more treacherous life. I just finished R.J. Rummel's book, it's called Death by Government. Did you know the number one cause of non-natural death is democide? Governments killing their own people. So, I highly recommend that book. It's roughly 600 pages, it's very well sourced. Don't let the page number scare you, because some of these books are very engaging, they're easy to read, and this one happens to be large print, so you can get through it pretty, uh, pretty quickly. And with stuff like this, you just, you feel like an inch taller after reading something like that. And it's a pretty brutal book, so and you might not want to read this one out loud at a uh, campfire. The alternative research community is growing very, very fast. I've said in multiple videos before, we won. And the consequences of winning are basically the system falling down. Unfortunately, many people don't really have anything in place or any plan for what to replace the current systems with. And we don't have to do a wholesale shellacking and removal of every single institution in the world. Would many of them even survive in a free market? I don't really think so. A lot of the institutions would be a lot better in a free market capitalist system, like all this stuff about food shortages. In Canada and the United States, we throw out a lot more food than we actually even consume. We're a huge exporter, yet there's always been this suburban Karen fear of the fridge running out, and it's, it's just simply not true. In very, very affluent areas, you don't actually need money to survive, but you want money to survive. You always want to have a new iPhone or uh, you're gonna need new shoes and you want to have stuff in your possession. Like, don't be foolish to think that you can live without money and you shouldn't want to own material goods. Like, it's totally fine to, uh, you know, strive for financial success. I think it's really good for relationships too. And don't take that the wrong way either, but yeah, I tried to get a, uh, here's a, a little off story. So I tried to get a second job uh, to supplement my income and, you know, have a little more to spend. And this job was, um, they hired me. And after I did the online training, they were like, oh yeah, so we're all wearing masks still. You're cool with that, right? And I'm like, no, what do you do for like people who can't wear them? So when I came into my first shift, they're like, actually, you can't work here. Your hours of availability don't exactly work for us. I knew and they knew this was about the uh, the mask mandate, but I'm not going to sit there and fight over this stuff. Like, I guess we just kind of get used to how we treat each other now. Like, lots of... Um, Lots of weirdness surrounding COVID and the employment stuff is, is so bizarre because they wanted me to work there, I wanted to work there, yet there was just this written sentence that uh, neither of us could really get past, right? So, you know, it's important to keep morale high because no one likes this shit, let's be honest. No one on either side is enjoying themselves. Everyone is very upset. They're uh, driving like madmen. And uh, that might be due to gas prices rising to absolutely insane levels. This is another uh, very worrying thing. There's no sign that these prices are going to come down. Governments around the world will double down on their fear, double down on anything they can to divide and conquer the people. They're doing a pretty good job right now, but you and me, you know, we're getting through this fine. We don't need luxury yachts to... Uh, you know, find our spiritual path and walk it. I've been talking, or I've, 
you know, I've been hearing a lot about people and their relationships and how when they wake up to the truth, they want to uh, tell their partner or tell their family and friends all about it. It's like, if you bring this stuff home with you, if you start talking about the dark side of the occult and demo side and genocide and depopulation, like, why would you even do that? It's going to cause you nothing but problems. I believe a lot of the people who think you have to be really forceful with people and make them believe new things are doing more damage than even good. I'm not going to name any names, but you can use your imagination on that one. Like, think of this statistic. Something like three quarters of people are unable to learn a new idea. So why even try to wake up people? Just put out work in a good way, make sure it's cited, make sure it's sourced, and people will find it. This is simply how good research is done. Like, I always uh, make reference to books and um, I upload them on my website. I recommend people buy them. I used to recommend people download them on Library Genesis, but you know, it's always good to have a hard copy. We just lost power. A lot of the city is still without power. It's pretty freaky. Uh, no, no power, no cell phone, no communication. And uh, we're still going through that. And um, yeah, you're gonna want the hard copy of some of this stuff because knowledge is being destroyed on the internet. Apparently it's not a trustworthy tool, so governments and uh, <laughs> regulatory agencies have to try and shut up everybody, but don't be fooled. Internet is a great thing. Always use your intelligence. This is no different than buying a product off the shelf you plan to eat. Do you want to buy the Kraft Dinner, or do you want to make homemade macaroni and cheese, which is probably going to be more delicious and more nutritious for you? You can choose the Kraft Dinner, you can choose the crap, or you can choose to make something good. So you just have to use your judgment at all time. And yeah, remember, like, we're part of a scientific revolution right now. Paradigms are shifting, and it's going to be a little bit rocky. Plan for all these conspiracies to come true because what do you think that means it's gonna be like some let's like some rosy glow when uh, all these warmongers get exposed more and more whistleblowers just keep coming out and every day is basically a victory lap even though the conditions are suboptimal to say the least so thanks for paying attention to this one stupassmore.com like subscribe down below peace out